age has no limits. Along the Inside Passage in southeast Alaska, the spirit of the Klingit people soars once again. The art of the totem pole, suppressed through much of the 20th century, has been reborn. What was once old and abandoned is alive and vibrant in the hands of Ernest Smeltzer of Ketchikan. But if you look at some of the old museums where they have different knives, you'll see some shaped like this. I can get the best steel, I make my own tools, shape them any way I want, and still I can't compare to some of those old time uh, carvers. Ernie Smeltzer is 72 years old and one of the most acclaimed carvers in the Pacific Northwest. But what's most impressive is that this World War II vet has been carving for only 20 years. I didn't know I could do any of this stuff, but I, I just wanted to, you know, for a little hobby, something to play around with. And so you'll make your cuts like so. You start out on something and it's difficult and, and you keep plugging away, chopping on the wood, and you, first thing you can see, something's gonna come out of this. And then eventually, it's gonna work, and that's when the good feeling comes in. So you know you're gonna make it. Ernie's work, which includes originals and reproductions, is on display throughout Alaska, from a bendwood box at a Ketchikan Lodge to a canoe at the Southeast Alaska Visitor Center but his favorite piece is seen by the fewest. Far removed from the tourist at the Ketchikan Correctional Center stands a pole that Ernie carved with inmates. You had all sorts of classifications of prisoners out there. I mean, it was, they had some very serious offenders. And yet, there was such a respect for what he was doing and respect for the end result or the product, you know, of this pole, which in fact is dedicated to Southeast uh, Alaska Natives. You know, when I first started out, I never thought I'd be, ever be commercial. And in order to be commercial, well, you gotta be fairly decent in your work. Ernie's poles sell for $800 a foot and he could charge a lot more. But he's not in it for the money. Ernie's real passion is teaching and thus ensuring the survival of a tradition. You notice I'm using the one we made with you. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the best one, right? Oh, yeah. I think it's great. If, I, if, I, if I'm doing the same thing he's doing at 72, I'd be awfully uh, proud. Daryl DeWitt apprenticed under Ernie. Uh -huh. He's more of a teacher than, than anything else. And he likes to, uh, likes to give, and that's the Clinkett way. In our culture, a man is considered very wealthy by how much he gave away, not by how much he obtained. Well, I think it mostly because Somebody taught me, and, and so I just felt I'd give him something back. He teaches me about humility and about kindness and about you don't have to talk about yourself. Uh, he's not a braggart. I mean, you'll say he's a master carver and he'll argue with you. You know, he says, no, I'm learning. <laughs> Old age has fashioned Ernie into an artist and teacher. It's brought him in touch with his Clinkett roots, and it's reawakened the spirit of his grandmother who taught him about life. You gotta put your whole mind to it that you really wanna do it, and it'll come to you. And you can do it. It's just that you gotta have that determination not to quit.